One of the greatest catastrophes of all time was the spies' report, right? Jews leave Egypt, walk through the desert, get the Torah, stand at the banks of Canaan, about to walk in and get the Promised Land, and the spies go in. Spies come out, basically say, we're going to die. Jews cry, tears of vain, and we're literally sitting here thousands of years later because of that. But if you look at the spies' report and their conclusion for why we're going to die, it seems like it makes sense. The spies say, the land is an Eretz Ochel Asir The land kills its own people. Well, why did they say that for? Well, the answer is because that's what they saw. The Medrash teaches us that when the Jews came in, they saw all these funerals. Every town they went to had a funeral in it. And as they saw funeral after funeral after funeral, they said to themselves, this must be a land in which everybody dies. But why were there so many funerals? So the Medrash teaches us, you know why? Because the Kodesh Baruch Hu was protecting them. When you walk in and you're a spy and you look different and no one's got anything to do, you know what they're doing? They're focusing on you. But if there's a funeral in the town and everyone's going to do a funeral and there's a new guy around, nobody's really paying attention. So as they went from town to town, the funerals weren't there to show them that people were dying. The funerals were there to protect them so no one would see that they're spies. And the question is, well, how do they miss it? Well, how could they have caught that? How could they have known what God was thinking? God didn't tell them that. Why are we blaming the spies for? They saw people die. They're supposed to know that God did it to protect them? God didn't tell them that. This is the power of thank you, Hashem. One of the great mistakes we make is thinking that thank you, Hashem, is thanking Hashem for the good. Obviously, we thank Hashem for the good. That's not the power of thank you, Hashem. The power of thank you, Hashem, is reminding ourselves that I don't even know the bad. Thank you, Hashem, is an exercise in teaching ourselves that what's in front of me looks a certain way, but it may not be a certain way. That as much as I think I know how the world works, and as much as I think I know good from bad, if God sent it to me, then I may not know everything. And I thank Him for it, because I'm reminding myself that it is good if it comes from Him. And I may, I may not see it for a day, I may not see it for a lifetime. But if it comes from Hashem, to me, it's good. And I thank Him, even if I don't see it right now. Had the spies walked into a town and saw a funeral and says, oh my God, people are dying, thank you, Hashem. What would have happened is they would have walked out and said, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is taking us in. I don't got to figure out why. They may have figured it out. They may not have figured it out. But if it came from God, they realize that it's good for them. That just exercise in figuring out that if it comes from the Kodesh Baruch Hu, it's good for me, that would have been enough them to walk out and go, we made it, we survived, there's some challenges, thank you Hashem, we're going in. Thank you Hashem is our way of achieving our own geula. Because in life, there are things that God sends us for our benefit, and it looks like it's for our detriment. And the only difference between geula and galus is whether we have the humility the courage and the strength to stare that right in the face and say, thank you, Asha.